blessing was uh, in my blood. I, um, I was born at a police station uh, at Kalagambone. My father was in the uh, police and um, I had uh, relatives in the uh, police force, uh, uh, an uncle who was a superintendent uh, and also my uh, great-grandfather was the uh, uh, sub-inspector who uh, captured me the night the bushranger. So I had a lot of uh, 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 dealings or, uh, with the police and I knew the police and uh, I guess it was a great influence on me in joining the police force. Uh, over my career I, I've, I've really seen uh, the good and bad in people and um, I, I've met very, a lot of fine people in the community, a, a lot of people uh, who, who were very supportive of the police and, and uh, that they were fine and good citizens. I've seen the other side of it too where I've had to deal with people that uh, weren't of good, good repute. Uh, so uh, I think it's, uh, it's a good lesson to me in, uh, about society having to deal with uh, these type of people. Uh, and you had to have the character to be able to deal with bad people one day and the next minute <laughs> dealing with the good people. So you had to be able to present yourself uh, uh, to be able to deal with those people. Look, um, I joined the police force as a cadet and then I went uh, through and uh, uh, my first station was at Parramatta. And I guess uh, over, the, over the years, I, I've got that many memories in the police force that I, I start to forget some of them. But the major ones are, I, I worked through all the uh, uh, Vietnam demonstrations. Uh, I was there uh, the day that uh, LBJ came to the um, uh, to the uh, country, and I was at that demonstration on that particular day. And when the uh, premier allegedly used uh, 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 some words, <laughs> uh, and uh, I've been through to the cricket ground where the apartheid came out here in South Africa. I've been down to Canberra. I did all of those and uh, then I went to 21 Division where uh, 21 Division was a flying squad that was all over the state and I, I saw uh, many, many different incidents and uh, many, many arrests at 21 Division. And my father was at 21 Division for 20 years and um, <clears throat> when I went there, uh, he, he was there. Um, and, and I actually did work with him on, on, on a few occasions. Now, I, I, I had to work and he had to work professionally. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, we, it was in a professional, uh, professional way and he treated me in a professional way. Did you get any special treatment? I didn't get any special treatment, no. If anything, I maybe had to get in and do a bit more than the others. <laughs> Uh, so um, uh, I didn't have any problems with that. Uh, 21 Division was a very, very busy place. Uh, um, on 21-1, uh, which was a plainclothes truck that worked the city, there's four. It was a training ground for young, uh, for detectives and for plainclothes police. And we would, we would go out on 21-1 and we would uh, rest between 20 and 30 people a night and they'd be charged and uh, court appearances and so forth and so on and I gained a lot of experience at that, that uh, place and um, uh, I think it stood with me through the police force. A and I enjoyed a lot of it. I really haven't been at a place I didn't, didn't like. I found, I found every place I went to had a different challenge and, and I, I enjoyed being there. It was a pleasure to come to work and on many occasions, of course there's other occasions uh, that there, there wasn't uh, when things had happened, but uh, I, I worked with uh, and I found the people I worked with were, were loyal and competent people and, uh, uh, and, and they all um, uh, that I've worked with 
uh, tried hard and, and did the job, and they turned up to do the job. And um, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, that keeps on spurring you on uh, with the type of people you're working with too. Well, I don't know whether I should uh, admit that. I'm starting to feel a bit old when you say that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yes, I did. I was there, there as a cadet in the, in the 100th one. And I, I, I was uh, there in the um, 150th one. But I didn't have to march in the 150th one. I got a seat at the town hall. I was invited to sit there. So uh, they must have thought I was getting a bit old or something. <laughs> but they said being uh, the double one, so I was there for the two occasions, yes. I never ever set out for that achievement. <laughs> I, I uh, you know, I, I, I came to work and I did my work and uh, um, and, I, and I liked it, and, uh, and I had a supportive family. Um, uh, the wife and the two, I have two girls, and they were very always been supportive of, of, of what I have, and without them I couldn't have done it. Look, I think the, the greatest thing that's changed is definitely technology. Um, when I first uh, started, we had uh, the old typewriter system. You had to type on the typewriter system. I've seen it go right through now the computer systems. I've seen all the technologies through radio, motor vehicles, uh, and such, and, and all the new uh, devices that, uh, well, a lot of the devices that uh, aid in crime detection. And it's been amazing, really, over that number of years, how much we have. Uh, uh, developed in that technology area. I, I, I always think you've got to have an open mind as a police officer and you treat people how, how you find them. And uh, as I said, there's a lot more good people than, than, than the people who want to go and commit offences. And I, I've always found you treat them, treat people as good people until you find otherwise and you have to take some action or you have to do something uh, relative uh, to where they've committed offences. So you need people in the police force who, 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 are, who are street wise, who can get out in the street and talk to people and talk to the people on their level. And uh, that is only comes through a lot of education in the job. You, you learn a lot in the job, but I, I, I knew what was uh, to be expected. Uh, I knew what was going to happen. I knew that I was going to see a lot of things that a lot of other people wouldn't see. And uh, so it didn't come as a big shock to me. Um, Sure, uh, a lot of people joining the job now uh, have got to expect that they're, uh, that they're going to do things that the normal people who go to work each day and sit in an office don't do. They're going to be there, that they're going to be the first response to bad incidents, and they're, they're going to be, the, uh, as I said, they're going to see the good times. Generally, uh, in a way, uh, I think they're very lucky because they see more of life than a lot of other people will ever, ever see or think about. Well, look, I, I'd say if you want to join the police force and you'd like it and you're going to that, capacity, uh, what, that type of occupation, don't hesitate. Go and join the job. You'll enjoy it, and, and, and you'll you'll see, uh, you'll be very much educated in life. Sure, you'll have your good times, uh, but you'll have your 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 not so good times, um, meaning you'll see a lot of things that um, uh, the ordinary people don't see. Uh, um, I, I, I've seen, you know. Uh, I remember I worked with a fellow by the name of Sergeant Riley and McDermott. 
I was there and attended the day that they got shot and killed and I always remember those things. They're, they're the to things that, um, that um, um, it happens to a police officer and you've got to be, you've got to be prepared for those things. Uh, but there's also the good times and there's a lot more good times and you work with some good people. Great, great and great. <laughs> uh, look, yes, yeah, look, it's what you make it. And, uh, and, and, and as I said, you work with some fine people. You meet a lot of people in the community. Um, I met my wife at, uh, I, I, I took a, a gentleman in there for uh, some medical attention once that we'd uh, arrested and um, she was a nursing uh, sister there at the hospital and um, I met her there <laughs> through the job, really. <laughs> and um, I, I met another fellow there that just started his internship, um, a doctor, and now he's a professor of medicine and we've been friends for 50 years. So you, you, you meet a lot of fine people through this job. Uh, I recommend it to anyone that wants to join it. Um, I, I've tried to keep an open mind in the, in the job and I've uh, tried to um, look, uh, as I said, I've seen the good parts, parts and I've seen the bad parts. So I've um, ha had to do uh, a lot of things that uh, uh, I've seen the sorrows and uh, death messages and all that type of thing. and, 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 and uh, I've seen how people are affected by it and um, uh, th that's any police officer will tell you the, the, the same. It certainly, it certainly has a, some effect on you and uh, um, there's a lot of things I don't want to remember <laughs> or try not to remember. Uh, and, uh, but there's the good times and you've got to start thinking about the good times. Every good thing comes to an end and uh, it, it had to happen one day and that's got to happen to everyone. <laughs> so uh, I, yes, I, I'll, I'll be sad about leaving, uh, walking out and leaving the police force, um, but we'll get over it and um, uh, we'll have a look what else is around the corner. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't want to just uh, go home and get in a rocking chair at, <laughs> at this stage. I guess, look, from my perspective, it's, it, I am proud to be here today, 61 years on the front line. Uh, it is amazing in itself. Uh, and, and for you to finish, I think, the last 20 years in the transport branch. But what I was blown away was that your last arrest was three years ago. Which yeah, was, three or four years. Three yeah, four which years. is super impressive. And I started to go back through my mind in terms of my last arrest, and it was a lot longer than that, I'll tell you that. Um, so, look, from my perspective, is it how do you thank someone who's given up um, 61 years of their life to protect the people of New South Wales. And I guess all we can do is come together to thank you for that and for your lovely wife and, and, and family being here today. It's so nice for a commissioner to give back a, a police employee who is so happy and he's looking forward to the next phase of his life. So thank you for loaning us and the people of New South Wales this, this amazing police officer, thoroughly decent man. And we wish you all well in the next phase of retirement. You know, I, I, I had the good fortune, um, you know, of, of being in the police force and um, um, I've been in, well, over 50 years. So I shouldn't admit that, it shows age now. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I've seen a lot of changes in the, in the, in the, uh, the police over the years, um, particularly in the uh, technology area. Police really, their, their traits, uh, 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 have got to be the same and have been right through their loyalty, uh, comradeship, uh, community awareness remains in a lot of the police since I joined to what it is today, you know. But look, I, I thank you all for co coming here today and I do appreciate it. But I wish you all the best of luck in the future of the police force and it's been good to me and I hope it's good to you. Good on you, mate. That's <laughs> Thank you.
certificate of service. Normally oh, they take a little bit of time, but Mr. Dengate got this rush through for you to make sure we gave that to you. I know it's not officially your last day, but, but no, in a okay. sense that uh, yeah. we, we wanted to give you something small to yeah. take away today.